Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to the 2013-14 uh, swearing in ceremonies. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mike Pinkerton, Mayor. Remember all members of council are here, our council clerk is here. Uh, Jeff Tolley is here to do our swearing in for us tonight. She's been a friend of Seabrooks for years. And County Commissioner Dave did so, came over tonight. And uh, Dave has been a friend of Seabrooks for many years, and I serve on a couple of boards and commissions with him. We're very interested, we're both very interested in the Seabrooks community. So with that, Your Honor, I'm going to go Very good. Good evening, everyone. I especially like to see all the young people here. Just here today. Oh, fantastic. Excellent, excellent. That's the most
Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the United States. And of the United States of America. And of the United States of America. And the state of Ohio. And the state of Ohio. That I will obey the laws thereof. That I will obey the laws thereof. And that I will in all respects. And that I will in all respects. Observe the provisions. Observe the provisions. Of the charter and ordinances. Of the charter and ordinances. Of the village of Sebring. Of the village of Sebring. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of council member. The duties of the office of council member. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. And your shirt has your name on it. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Brooks. Now, you, now you've heard it three times, so you have it all memorized, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't need, I, don't need, I don't need to repeat it after you, do you? <laughs> Good evening. Hi. State your name, please. Kenneth Flowers. Do you solemnly swear? I solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America. And of the State of Ohio. And of the State of Ohio. That I will obey the laws thereof. And I will obey the laws thereof. And that I will in all respects. And I will in all respects. Observe the provisions. Observe the provisions. Of the charter and ordinances. Of the charter and ordinance. Of the village of Seaver. Of the village of Seaver. That I will faithfully discharge. I will faithfully discharge. The duties of the office of council member. The duties of the office of council member. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. And I think that concludes our swearing in. Thank you all for being here, especially the little people. That's the most important. Not that it's important that everyone is in here, but thank you for all the kids being here today. And thank you for having me. It's quite an honor to be able to do this. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. And folks, we do have some uh, coffee and some cookies out in the uh, foyer. And please uh, stick around and, uh, and uh, enjoy a little bit of the evening with us. With that, Council, we're dismissed to uh, something to drink and something to eat, huh? <laughs> They do. Oh my gosh, they do. You have to have a thick skin to have this job. I know that feeling. Yeah. Can you get all this? Back up for a while. All right, hold still. Ready? One, two, three. Come on, show some teeth. Show that. Smiles. Ready? One more. Take two. Are you filming? Yeah. Are you filming? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Dave, it's nice to meet you. You too. Thanks for coming. Well, I'll be here. I got to hang for the festival yeah. events. Yeah. Oh, so people see your Thank you so much. No, I'll wait until today. It's away today. today. Jackson Milton. What do we have for you? What do we have Mr. Wright, okay with the bills, sir? Yeah, bills were last week, yes, sir. Okay, all right. Sure. Yeah. Our kind and gracious Heavenly Father, bow before you and ask for your blessing upon this meeting tonight, Lord. Ask, Lord, if you guide us and direct us in our comments and our vote here on the floor. We offer special prayers for our elected officials. May you give them the blessings that they deserve and that they will need as they carry out their duties that they are sworn to pull. We ask, Lord, that you be our sick and our shut in during these holidays that their, their illness doesn't prevent the, the loss of the, the comfort and the warmth of the holidays. We also ask that you be with those who have lost loved ones around these holiday times, that you comfort them and you be with them. These things I pray in the name of Jesus, our Christ. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated, please. <coughs> yeah, it's getting a little warm in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're all here. Yeah. They're all taking a The clerk would call the roll. Wright. Here. Flowers. Here. Smith. Here. Weingart. Here. Hydro. Here. Hart. Here. Uh, reading and disposition of the minutes of the previous meetings. Council, it's your pleasure. <laughs> Mayor, make a motion we dispense with the reading and amendments of the previous meeting. Second. Motion by Agro, seconded by Flowers to dispense with the reading and the minutes of the previous meeting. And uh, does that include the public hearings? Yes. The public hearings, Mr. Agro, is second agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. Questions or comments? Corrections, additions, deletions? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. On page one, you have Mabel Uncleford listed as Deputy Tax Administrator. On page two, she's Tax Administrator. What's her title? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, well, the Deputy Tax Administrator is something Rick did for her plaque. Um, he felt like Deputy was better than Assistant Tax Administrator. I think she's an assistant, too. So then on page two, that's... Tax administrator. Okay, tax administrator is when she was actually speaking to the finance committee. She's an assistant to the tax administrator. Well, what is her title? Her ta her title is administrative assistant tax. <coughs> That's her title. Administrative assistant tax. tax. And like the administrative assistant water, administrative assistant finance. Thank you. <coughs> Other questions or comments? And put call the roll. Right. Aye. Flowers. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Minutes stand approved as presented. Citizens' comments. There's two sections of the, the meeting where we uh, take time to uh, take citizens' comments, and this would be one of them. Is there any citizen wishes to address council at this time? Seeing none, we're going to move on. Reading and referring of communications and or petitions. Madam Clerk, do you have anything? No, sir. Member of Council, have any petitions uh, to present? Mr. Solicitor, any petitions? Or? I, I have none, sir. Thank you very much. And your communications, I have several, just a couple actually. Uh, number one, you got a copy of the uh, Salem, what we knew as the Salem Community Hospital. 
has now been, uh, they have changed their name to the Salem Regional Medical Center, effective January 1st. The building that we uh, know as Sebring Manor Apartments at 216, or two, yeah, 216 uh, West Ohio Avenue, uh, starting January 1st, will be known as Capital Place Apartments going forward. Why? Do you know why? I have no idea. We got the information from the Housing Development uh, uh, Vice President of the uh, Ownership. Put on the building. Are there any other uh, communications? <laughs> Board of Council Committees and Council Representatives. Finance, Councilman Wright. Uh, yeah, Mayor. Finance did meet on December the 16th. Uh, all committee members were in attendance, uh, including myself, Mr. Schmidt, and Mr. Hart, uh, Mayor Pinkerton, uh, Manager Giroux, uh, <coughs> Councilperson Igro, and Mr. Flowers, uh, Police Chief Heverly, and Wastewater Superintendent Lee Hatton. Um, the whole meeting was primarily uh, to go over the 2014 budget and of which we requested a couple of minor changes to be made and an ordinance to be on the agenda tonight for council's approval. <clears throat> a meeting adjourned at 8.30. Well, Mayor, I make a motion um, to pay the bills when funds become available in the amount of $275,126.54 for dates 12-7 through 12-20. Second. Motion by Wright, seconded by Hart to pay the bills. Funds become available. Questions or comments? Mr. Wright. Under comments, Mayor, the $195,000 street sweeper was in there. Um, we had some uh, sludge removed from the water treatment plant and the wastewater treatment plant, which was around $13,000. Um, and then the bulk were just generalized, um, or just general operating um, bills. Any other questions or comments? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, there is a postage income <coughs> tax mailing to Shamrock Companies for $681.17. And yet on the um, report that we were given, postage would be $494.10 for 1,830 envelopes. The, uh, According to this, they sent out 2,500 Sometimes, it's, it's, what page are you on, man? Six. Sometimes this gets a little confusing <coughs> unless you see the bill itself. Postage for income tax mailing. And the Shamrock Companies is the uh, probably the postage meter. And that only shows the, uh, the mailing that goes out. Is the Shamrock Company the postage meter? I didn't think so, no. Oh, no, that's the one we just hired. Yeah. That's, that's the one we just hired. And their quote was $494.10 for a complete mailing. And yet we were charged six hundred and eighty one seventeen. But the 700 more, over, almost 700 more mailings sent out than what was originally quoted. Well, that's right. That, they also had a setup to the one time setup. That's right, for the one time setup charge. Well, it's probably a combination of both. We will, I will check. Thank you. Until we have that bill directly in front of us, I can't properly respond to that. Do you have it? I don't. That was before the circle that one and we will get back to you with an answer. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Yeah. Question. On that with that circle should we hold that? I I don't believe because we've already entered into a contract. If it should be a, a, a misprint we can always deduct from the next building cycle. Okay. Fine. So it's not something that's well, going to right. I mean right. they said one thing and they're doing something else. Well I suspect I uh, Mr. Schmidt uh, 
what was it, a, a good thought, you know, was a one time uh, setup fee. You know, but it doesn't come out mathematically, so. Okay. We will find out for sure. There's a motion on the floor to pay the bills. Questions or comments? Court call the roll. Gray? Aye. Flowers? Aye. Smith? Aye. 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 Safety Councilman Flowers. No meeting, Mayor. Legislative Councilman Igra. No meeting, Mayor. Business Redevelopment Annexation, Ms. Weingart. No meeting. I will approve it, Mr. Hart. No meeting, Mayor. And Service Maintenance, Mr. Schmidt. No meeting, Mayor. Very good. Um, Mr. Wright, had you received, I think this was going to go to uh, finance. Had you received any information on the uh, copier bids? No, sir. All right. That was one thing that was still left in committee, as the manager was working on new uh, tech or new software plus right centers. <coughs> okay. This is this is a little different than that, but this is uh, different copiers. This is. Uh, so this is in replacement to the main copier. Or <coughs> yes, as well as uh, it's less than dollars to the correct fees. Yeah, this is for three copiers, I believe. Uh, you want to hold that till after the first of the year, or do you want to pass it? No, I, let's hold that till after the first of the year. Okay. The contract's still good until sometime in the first quarter, for sure. Okay. And I believe this was the recommendation of what the manager has seen so far, but I will hold this for now. There are new committees in place. Yep. Okay. Okay. Down to council committees, council representatives. Right. Uh, Parks committee. Uh, Parks did meet on December the 12th. Unfortunately, I was out sick that day, uh, but I did present the November meeting notes. Um, was November 14th. Uh, all, all committee, all board members were present. Park director and the city manager was there. Um, they talked about the lights at Northside um, needed some realignment. Um, the tree markers, they were still working on that. Um, the exercise room has been cleared out. Um, a little bit about uh, some winter programs going on there. And one thing I can comment on that is they had about 30 kids up there. Um, weekend of the 14th, I believe it was, um, for a winter program. I think they showed a movie and did a craft, and um, so they had about 30 kids show up for that. Um, <clears throat> uh, Milt, Milt asked about the sidewalks, and he's going to take care of that. Um, under new business, they talked about the staff coming up for the new new season. Um, I'm sure we'll talk more about that in January. Um, requested any new ideas for the July 4th. Um, request uh, um, to change the meeting for December. Uh, that didn't pass. I talked about the sidewalk fix by the gas company. Um, I guess Ohio Edison was up and repaired the light fixture on the west end of the building and took the truck down through the yard so the mayor was going to take care of that which that was kind of an interesting conversation <laughs> um, CCF requested the use of the kitchen and gym on Mondays instead of Thursdays starting in June um, if everybody's not aware the school closes down they move the luncheons or the dinners up there um, so those will be on Mondays now it appears instead of on Thursdays uh, request for a key by the Salvation Army, um, which was denied. Um, they talked about the holiday schedule. Um, and I also talked to Tracy a little bit about the keys today. My recommendation to the board in January will be to re-key that door on the front of the building and um, 
then a start assigning keys because I guess there's a lot more keys out than what they first anticipated from what I'm hearing. <coughs> so my recommendation to the board will be to have the building rekeyed and then we'll go from there on that. Um, rental discussions. Um, city manager uh, commented that the park department is solvent and has budgeted standard levels with some moderate increases in the spots um, as required. Uh, need to look at develop an expense budget, which I believe he has that all done now. Talked a little bit about some grants and the uh, strategic plan. Um, the mayor and both myself were absent for that meeting, um, and the meeting adjourned at 845. Very good, Mr. Gray. I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, David, why did they get rid of the exercise realm? Is there a liability problem? Mm -hmm. or? Yes. Okay. There was a lot of pieces of equipment in there that were very, very unsafe to use. Okay. Good enough. Anything else under uh, Parks and Recreation? Um, next scheduled meeting, Mayor, will be um, Thursday, January 9th at uh, 7 o'clock. Very good. Uh, planning the Spine Garden? No meeting. Civil Service, Mr. Schmidt. No meeting, Mayor. Uh, retention Committee is myself and the solicitor, and there has been no meeting held. And we will be holding one shortly after the first of the year to finish up what we started last year. We've now been told that uh, everybody has the records ready to submit to us. So we will have to talk with the solicitor on that. He's probably uh, not going to be named on there without uh, by title going forward. <coughs> Have I forgotten anything under uh, committees or representatives? Okay, report of other officials. Madam Clerk, do you have any? Mm -hmm. Mr. Solicitor. Uh, to confirm some of our updates, specifically with regard to the Tewksbury matter, I received formal confirmation from the Court of Appeals that they have dismissed his appeal. He's gone, he's out. I believe that. I did not report that because of the absence from last meeting. Uh, but he's done with everything, and at this point in time, the cost per day, uh, the per diem, fine is in place. So. so we can go up and do our zoning inspection now? We yeah, absolutely can. Okay. The judge will be happy to see him. <coughs> All right. Uh, a couple things from the mayor's office. And we're going to do the mayor and the manager kind of here together. Um, all of you should have received a copy of a uh, safety training awareness or presentation on uh, meth lab safety. It's going to take place uh, Monday, January the 13th at 6.30, 8.30 at the Seeming Fire Station. I believe the manager has made it mandatory attendance for police, fire, service department, and we're going to invite the parks board uh, members or at least their uh, director. This would be uh, how to recognize and, and uh, not how to handle, but at least how to uh, protect the public from should they come across an abandoned methyl or parts thereof. And the uh, fire department has been working for uh, several weeks to uh, secure the uh, trainer for this, and I anticipate it being a good program. Now, Monday night the 13th is our council meet, regular, next regular council meeting and organizational meeting. <coughs> if any of you wish to attend this, it would probably mean we should reschedule our, our at least our organizational meeting because we must be organized by the 15th of the month. If you don't care to attend, well, we'll go ahead with our regular council meeting on the 15th. Our department heads certainly won't be here. They'll be in the training. I didn't see that. I didn't get one of those. What's, what are the hours? What? 6.30 p.m. to 8.30. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you not? Did you not get these? No, you know what? Well, you were off. I think I uh, wrote that on there and then forgot to leave it with you. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, yeah. This is his only training? Well, yes. Yeah, so this is the uh, Bureau of Crim The BCI is actually doing this training. It was very difficult to get somebody scheduled in. This is a very high-demand training program. 
Mr. Springer, Lieutenant Springer, has been working for several weeks to get this lined up to do, do a, a Monday evening program for us. Uh, which, what's your wish with our next regular council meeting? I would say we stay as we are. <coughs> I feel that it's safety forces that need that. I agree. Yeah. I don't need to go. Mm -hmm. Need that more. Must be in there. I, I, I would concur with that. Okay. Very good. Yes, sir, sir. You will get a copy of this. I apologize to council for that. I know it's all in <laughs> Under the manager's memo, you did receive a memo from the manager on the 13th. Uh, anybody have any questions on that? I don't think there was a whole lot on there other than you are aware that the uh, street sweeper price, the $195,000 was the correct price, and that the $183,000 as was submitted originally. As a second price quote, it was a technical error on the part of the person's part. Okay, and we paid that bill tonight. Strager. Question on the previous uh, safety meeting. Davis is mandatory as the wages being paid to the people that are attending this. Being this is a mandatory meeting to our safety forces and to our service people, is this are the wages being paid for the two hours? No, that's, that would be my intention. They should be. Anything else under reports of any other officials? Okay. Ordinances and resolutions. Oh. If I may, Mr. Mayor, Mr. the last Chief. car is in, so we're all caught up with our police. All our police cars are in today. Yes. <laughs> all caught up. It's just in today or it's ready to go today? It's in service and it's ready to go. Okay. So, so it's ready to hit the road. Right. Very good. Thank it's going to be, it's going to, if I may, please. It's going to be my backup car. The old Ford 302 and the new 301 will be the fleet. The real three, which is the newest, newest car, will be held in abeyance just in case one of them goes down. Because I want to put the miles on the older Ford first to try to keep that. I think that's man got good management, I think. So in case one breaks down, we got that as a backup so we can keep the miles off of it. Kind of keep the miles evenly flowed through the, through the fleet. So just let that go. Mayor, what did we end up doing with the Dodge? Sitting out here, okay. So it, it'll it, just it come across as a surplus, then. No, it's going to be a surplus. Okay. I think there's a, a basement that needs cleaned out again already, and uh, probably have a number of, of items in the basement to think about auctioning off or surplusing. Inventory is going to be a new brand new inventory. Please prepare for plates on the brand new inventory plus a surplus inventory. And I got an auction company that does good patch ups auctions, so we're going to bring them in and get rid of all our surplus. That'll be in future in spring. Okay. Now, Mr. Shainer might have some stuff to work with the moment. Okay. Very good. All right. Now, are we ready for ordinances and resolutions? Mayor. Mr. Igar. I can make a motion that ordinances 3713 through 40-13 be read by title only. Second. Mr. Igar is seconded by heart to read by title only. Ordinance number 3713 through what was the uh, 4113. By title only, seconded by Mr. Hart. Questions or comments? Hearing none, court call the roll. Right. Aye. Flowers. Aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay, here we go. Ordinance 3713, this is from the Finance Committee, and this is Council Member Wright's sponsor. This is an ordinance advancing funds from the Water Works System Fund from the waste from the excuse me, from the Water Works System Fund to the Water Treatment Plant Carbon Filters Fund and declaring an emergency. Council having heard the ordinance read by title only with the emergency clause, what's your pleasure? Mayor, I make a motion we adopt the ordinance as read with the emergency clause. Second. Motion by Wright, seconded by Flowers. Adopted as presented with the emergency. Questions or comments? Under comments, Mayor, um, this is so that we can expend money on that filter project. Um, so it's, we're transferring money out of the water, water system operation over into this. This is a bookkeeping issue. Yes. That's right. So we're transferring initially 25000 
because we were the grant money that has been expended in uh, Valley of Hudson. Uh, is that why the terminology is different than transferring? It's advancing, so it's right. a payback deal? Mm -hmm. okay. Correct. Any other questions or comments? Bring in the first call roll. Right. Aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Order number 3813. This again comes out of finance and Councilman Wright. This is an ordinance advancing funds from the general fund to the wastewater phosphorus fund and declaring an emergency. Also having heard the ordinance read by title with the emergency. Clause, what's your pleasure? Mayor, I make a motion we adopt the ordinance as read with the emergency clause. Second. First emergency clause. Questions or comments? Under comments, Mayor, this is the exact same setup for the wastewater side. It's an advancement of funds so that we uh, can expend some money out of there. Very good. Any questions or comments? Are you doing the first call or roll? Right. Aye. Flowers. Aye. Smith. Aye. 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 Motion carries. This is ordinance number 3913. This is Finance Committee. This again this comes from Council Member Wright. This is an ordinance amending the fiscal year 2013 budget and authorizing directing the municipal manager to transfer funds to balanced end of year municipal funds in the current emergency. Council, uh, so having heard the ordinance read by title only with the emergency clause, what's your pleasure? Mayor, make a motion we adopt the ordinance as read with the emergency clause. Second. Motion by right, second by heart to uh, adopt as presented with the emergency clause. Questions or comments? Under comments, Mayor, um, I'm just going to go through these. Uh, 100 general to 201 street maintenance, 52,000. 100 general to 715 demolition, 12,000. 100 general to 703 water debt reserve, uh, 21,204. Um, 202 recreation to 204 community center, 40,000. Um, 701 uh, water work system to 702 water first mortgage, 209,700. Uh, 706 sewer to 707 sewer <coughs> mortgage, 129,548 dollars. Any questions or comments? Turn it in the first call roll. Right. Aye. Flowers. Aye. Smith. Aye. Weinberg. Aye. Agro. Aye. Aye. Motion carries. This is a committee review of finance committee, and this is sponsored by Council Member Wright. And this is an ordinance establishing <coughs> appropriations. Excuse me. <coughs> appropriations for municipalities. Hearing. For the fiscal year 2014, council having heard the ordinance read by title only with an emergency clause, which is what? Well, no emergency clause. Oh, excuse this. me. Just, thing. Well, does not have to have an emergency clause. If you come to the room, try to confirm it immediately. Make a motion. We adopt the ordinance as read. Second. Motion by. Flower, or excuse me. Motion by right. Second by Flowers to adopt the ordinance as presented. Questions or comments? Um, under comments, Mayor, I'll go through the, uh, not through each line item, but uh, total general fund 101 appropriations, $1,489,839. Um, special revenue fund 201. Um, total appropriations, $256,072. Recreation Fund 202, um, total fund $107,764. Uh, State Highway Fund 203 is uh, $10,000. Uh, Civic Center Fund 204, $49,749. Income Tax Fund 205, $70,498. Motor Vehicle License Permissive Tax Fund 206, $45,000. Fire Fund 301, $94,150. Capital Improvement Fund 401, $210,000. Water Work System 701, uh, total $987,478. Uh, 
Water First Mortgage, 702, $209,700. Sewer Fund, 706, $371,387. Sorry about that. That's incorrect. Total Fund Appropriation, $652,906. Sewer First Mortgage Fund 707, $128,715. Pull Fund 709, $38,663. Revolving Loan Fund 712, $10,050. Stormwater Utility Fund 713, $54,188. EMS funds 714, total $88,900. Demolition funds 715, $30,000. Water construction funds 720, uh, that's for the carbon filters, $2,718,682. Sewer Construction Fund, Phosphorus Removal, Fund 740, $2,762,596. Fire Security and Repair Fund, 802, $8,800. And Total Fund for, uh, which we have a typo, 2014 Funds Appropriations, $10,023,750. So if we can handle that as a typo to correct that to 2014, that will be it. Okay. There may be one other we have to handle too. Mr. Solster? I think you've already found it. Uh, the title, the body of the document itself does declare to be an emergency. It's just out of the title. So then we just need to do and declare an emergency in the title of the document itself. And I'm referring to section 26. Okay. So within the title, we are going to uh, we need a motion to amend. So move. Second. And declaring an emergency. Um, Mr. Hart made the motion. Mr. Wright seconded. Is that the way it was? Other way around. Other way around. Vice versa. <coughs> Mr. Wright made the motion. Mr. Hart. Second. Second. Yes, to amend. To amend. And the motion on the floor is to amend the appropriation ordinance. To add and declaring an emergency. Any questions or comments on that? Are you including the 2014? Yes. Okay. Nope. Okay. Bring that first call the roll. Right. Aye. 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 Motion carried. Now, council, having heard the ordinance read with by title with an emergency clause, it's your pleasure. Make a motion. We adopt the ordinance as read with the emergency clause. Second. A motion by right, second by flowers to adopt as presented with the emergency clause or as amended with the emergency clause. Questions or comments? I would just say that we had two public hearings on this document, and we had nobody show up for either one, one in, one in the daytime and one in the, in the afternoon. So the public has had an opportunity to review this prior to passage. Okay. No other call? Excuse me. Uh, I was agreeing with you, but also on that note that this document can be changed at any time. Certainly. And adjusted as needed. What council giveth, council can take it away. Mr. Arkham. <coughs> Hearing no other comments, court call the roll. Right. Aye. Flowers. Aye. 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 Aye.
Central LLC for by solids management at the wastewater treatment plant and declaring an emergency. Council having heard the ordinance read by title only with an emergency clause with pleasure. Mayor, make a motion. We adopt the ordinance as read with the emergency clause. Second. Motion by Wright, second by Schmidt to adopt as presented with the emergency clause. Questions or comments? Under comments, Mayor. Um, bid price on dry ton was $87 and for liquid ton, $241. And we haul much more liquid than we do dry, correct? Yes. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. This is the same same company that we've utilized in the past. Yes. Any other questions or comments? For total roll? Right. Aye. Flowers? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Weingart? Aye. Ivra? Aye. Hart? Aye. Very good. Ordinance passes. Now we're going to do a resolution. Mayor, make a motion to read resolutions 4113 through 4513 by title only. Second. Motion by Agro, seconded by uh, Schmidt. Questions or comments? Hearing none, clerk, call the roll. Right. Aye. Flowers. Aye. Aye. Schmidt. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Resolution 4113. That's where I got confused first. Mm -hmm. This is a resolution authorizing the municipal manager to extend the contract for legal services with Lundgren and Goldthorpe on a month to month basis. Having heard the resolution, we're read by title only. What's your pleasure? Make a motion. We adopt the resolution as read. Second. Motion by uh, Wright, seconded by Hart to adopt as read. Questions or comments? Question. Yes. We have expiration on December 31st, and in the minutes of the last meeting, it went March 1st. There is a, back in 2012, and I believe in either January or February, the contract that was proposed by ordinance said that it would terminate March 31st, 2014. March 1st. March, excuse me, March 1st. Okay. The contract that was signed, the signed document, has an end date of December 31st, 2013. That's where the discrepancy is. That's where the discrepancy okay. So rather than try to determine which was appropriate, we decided to authorize the extension of the existing contract on a month to month basis. Okay. It seemed to clean up the bulk everything. Yep, that works. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, court call the roll. Right. Aye. 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 The resolution is adopted as presented. Uh, Council, the chair is going to uh, take the liberty of passing on. 4213 and 1 to uh, 4313 for a few minutes here. Okay? Anybody object? Okay. If you do, you can tell me about it. Uh, resolution 4313. This is a resolution directing the municipal manager to certify water and sewer accounts for the Mahoney County Auditor for collection. Council, have you heard the resolution read by title only? What's your pleasure? Mayor, I make a motion we adopt the resolution as read. Second. We have a motion by Wright, seconded by Flowers to adopt the resolution as presented. Questions or comments? Hearing none, the clerk call the roll. Wright? Aye. Flowers? Aye. Smith? Aye. Flangard? Aye. Hydro? Aye. Hart? Aye. Motion carries. Resolution is adopted. Resolution 4413. This is a resolution directing the municipal manager to decertify water and sewer accounts previously certified to the Hoonan County Auditor for collection. Council, having heard the resolution, will read by title only. What's your pleasure? Make a motion. We adopt the resolution as read. Second. Motion by Wright, seconded by Tart. To adopt the resolution as read. Questions or comments? Under comments, Mayor, if you can actually believe this. 
we actually are decertifying almost twice what we certified. I think that's got to be a first. Yeah, you're probably right. <coughs> Any other questions or comments? <coughs> um, uh, 20, 27, 49, 95. Right, yeah. 27, 29. Yeah. Four times, five times. That's <laughs> not the same accounts. No. Yeah, no, but it means we collected our money. That's what it means. <laughs> Only for those accounts, but not from what was certified before. No. It's not even close. Any other questions or comments? First call the roll. Right. Aye. 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 Council, having heard the resolution read by title only, what's your pleasure? Make a motion. We adopt the resolution as read. Okay. Second. Motion by Wright, seconded by uh, Schmidt to adopt the resolution as read. Questions or comments? Um, I, I have a whole bunch. Do my best. Okay. We already passed the resolution in April, and so I pulled it out and was comparing it. And some of this information in the new one is not correct. And uh, it's, we've got here that there's support from Representative Grossman and Representative Henney. No, they sponsored the bill. And we don't know what kind of reduction there will be in revenue. Where's the, an amount? The coalition is. You have it like it's for it, and it's not. It's against it. Did anybody read House Bill 5? The entirety? Uh, yeah. No. Well, They change it every time you turn around. I have a copy of House Bill 5, and I have a copy of the summary. <coughs> and I don't know that it solves the problems that we have, and we do have problems. I mean, all over Ohio. But I don't know that it doesn't. Um, and yeah, I just I have all these things that will be here all night if we go over all of them. But at the bottom of page two, you have more useful and relevant to nothing. And then you have on the last page that it was passed. Yes. When was it passed? Well, we applied tonight's meeting for 30. All your legislation says when it's passed. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Never mind. I'm not going to argue this. I know. I know. But it becomes I effective. I mean, there are just that. so many things wrong with this. This is Weingarten. I can tell you this. Who wrote this? This came out from the Ohio Municipal League. Municipal League. Who can't even get their mailings right. If you wish to vote no, that's certainly your opportunity. Okay. I know that's that. That's what I can say. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Any court call the roll. Right. Aye. 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 Smith. Aye. Weingarten. No. Igro. Aye. Hart. Aye. Resolution passes. Council, I ask for your uh, indulgence on skipping over Resolution 4213. And I think now would be a good time to do that. Mr. Zumbar, would you come forward, sir? Wow, with reluctance. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually has human clothes. I, I put away all my Steelers gear too. Oh. <laughs> you had to bring that up. Yeah. yeah. Then you. Now you know Mr. Zumbar, representing the uh, law firm of London Goldthorpe and Zumbar. This is a resolution. Uh, whereas the law firm of 
Lyman Goldthorpe and Zumbar has served the principals of the Sebring Department of Law since 2000, and whereas the firm has represented the village, employees, elected and appointed officials, and the citizens with honesty and integrity. And whereas the firm has confirmed their intentions to decline to seek renewal of their existing contract after expiration on December the 31st, 2013, and provided assistance in a smooth transition to a new director of law. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of Municipality of Searing, Hooning County, Ohio, Section 1, that the law firm of Lundgren, Goldthorpe, and Zumbar is hereby honored and commended for its extraordinary service and commitment to serving our community. Section 2, that this Council does hereby publicly honor the law firm of Lundgren, Goldthorpe, and Zumbar for unselfishly giving of itself for the betterment of this community. In Section 3, that this resolution has been introduced by the unanimous and consent of all Council members, Mayor, and the Administration of the Municipality of Seabury with best wishes for future endeavor. As this, the 30th day of December 2013. Council, having heard the resolution, read its entirety. What's your pleasure? Make a motion we adopt the resolution as read. Second. Motion by Wright, seconded by Schmidt. Mm -hmm. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Mr. Zumbar. Thank you. On kind of a personal note, we, we know that the law firm has worked with us uh, consistently for now 13 years or longer. And uh, you have been the primary contact with this council. And uh, on behalf of this council, I'd like to present this to Andrew L. Zumbar, Assistant Village Solicitor in Recognition and Appreciation for your outstanding, dedicated service and legal guidance to the Village of Seeker. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Very, kind, very kind of you. It has been an absolute pleasure and a joy to work with Sebring. It's a, a small community that has all of the same big-time legal issues that larger communities uh, have to face, and it's been a privilege to do this. It truly has. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Just don't kick me off the golf team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 90, 95. Andy? Yes, Where's your room? Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 I put it back away. <laughs> 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 That's a secret. That's a secret. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> At this point in our, uh, our uh, agenda, it would be uh, time for a second call for any citizens' comments. And he says to wish to press council, address council at this time. Hearing none, other business, and there was one other matter to come before council that I am clearly aware of. Mr. Schmidt. Huh. Sir, would you join me here? Uh, Mr. Douglas L. Schmidt, a village council member, in recognition and appreciation of your five years of dedicated service and community leadership to the village of Seaburn. You served from 2004 to 2007, and 2012 to 2013 as requested. We appreciate that, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Right here. Thanks. It's been an honor and a privilege to work for the citizens this evening and work with the council, administration, and all the fire employees of the city. Thank you. Uh, one other thing from the mayor's office, I would request actually two executive sessions. Uh, one would be for uh, personnel and possible litigation, and I would ask council, the solicitor, and uh, council elect householder to be present, if she would, please. Uh, the second one would be... Uh, uh, executive session continuing into an executive session for strictly a personnel matter and I would like to ask counsel of course the solicitor is welcome to stay and uh, the police chief and, and uh, counsel like counsel to be present for that I do not anticipate any business to take place after that so you're doing possible litigation first? yeah we'll do the possible litigation of the personnel first that would be my request of counsel so moved. Second. Give our clerk a minute to get caught up. Huh? Okay. 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 
the, the motion is to go into executive session one to talk personnel and possible litigation with those named people. And the second is to just talk about personnel. And was motion by Wright, second by Schmidt. Yeah. All those in favor, or, excuse me, put the call the roll. Wright. Aye. Flowers. Aye. Schmidt. Aye. Weinberg. Aye. 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 Motion carries. This council is an executive session, and we're going to start with a brief recess. Five minutes. We got a lot of documents we need to get signed. We need Amy's name on it.